Hey guys, you're watching Halbon Flash videos and today we have got Violet joining us in for this conversation. So first of all, welcome to the chat, Philip. And tell us a little bit about yourself. What's your background? Hi, everyone. Uh, very happy to be here. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm Philip. I'm the co-CEO and co-founder of Violet. We're building programmable on-chain compliance infrastructure, broadly for DeFi. You know, we, we'd like to think DeFi, whereas DeFi more as on-chain finance or the sort of the future upgrade to the financial system. And uh, prior to starting Violet, um, I spent a bunch of time working on the developer ecosystem development within Protocol Labs, within the Falcoin ecosystem. Also a bunch of product management related initiatives. Before that was a venture investor. And in a very former life, um, I used to be a soft engineer. Fantastic. So engineering to DeFi and core blockchain. Uh, what prompted you to make this transition happen? Crypto is interesting from an engineering point of view. So I think um, As well. naturally, there was a, <laughs> naturally there was a very strong interest, um, you know, purely from an engineering point of view. But I think in crypto is so much more. Um, it has all these different facets about, um, you know, economics, even social sciences, a bunch of other different things. So I found that to be very fascinating. And I think it just captivated my mind. So could not stop thinking about anything else and then you never left. Fantastic. All right, so let's dive in a little bit into Violet. What is it all about? What are you building? So Violet, as I mentioned before, is programmable on-chain compliance infrastructure. So what it entails is really, you know, we enroll users um, and effectively combine or connect their on-chain identity, basically your wallet address can also be multiple addresses with your real off-chain identity as verified for your passport uh, and a bunch of other different identity attributes. And we sort of orchestrate a bunch of compliance around that and then make that available in an easy to use interface for on-chain financial applications. That's the long version. And um, you know, today, you know, we're, we're small but mighty team. Um, we're a distributed team, as I think most other folks in the industry are. We have a small headquarter in Berlin. We do call Berlin home. Um, and I think it's a big part of our DNA. Um, and uh, yeah, mostly, mostly in engineering and product focused work. All right, so talk to us a little bit more about KYC, KYB, everything that you guys are doing on the blockchain and why that is so significant right now. We don't necessarily do KYC or KYB yourself. Again, we work with different partners um, and we effectively orchestrate all these different compliance functions or primitives um, and make it available on chain. Uh, we think this is very significant um, precisely because um, from our perspective, DeFi is not um, a new or a parallel financial system. It's end of the day finance. And to enable or yeah, just grow DeFi from a more sustainable point of view, you would have to have more participants be able to access on-chain financial applications, meaning institutions. You would also have to be, enable a bunch of different use cases sort of beyond, I think, more detailed speculative use cases that you find first and foremost today. And for all of that, you ultimately need to find a way uh, to comply with existing regulations. And a core aspect of that is KYC, KYB. And definitely a big uh, use case to work with. Uh, so how else do you plan on bridging the gap between TradFi and DeFi? The core of Violet is to really provide on-chain compliance rails to enable um, on-chain financial applications um, for institutions to be able to participate in those applications. So we have all these different compliance requirements. Some of them are regulatory, some of them are regulatory nature. Some of them are more, um, you know, strong requirements that come from specific institutions and you morph all of that into an infrastructure that again makes it um, super simple um, to in that we make super simple to integrate and um, that again helps for these on-chain financial applications to be able to engage new audiences but also new types of use cases and one really other important aspect here is that we're strong believers of facilitating regulatory trust from within the industry I think you're probably all aware about the questions around regulation and to what extent regulation will happen in DeFi and so forth. And uh, we believe strongly believe in regulatory alignment and engagement. And as such, you know, building infrastructure that facilitates again regulatory trust, we think is a strong foundation for um, regulatory acceptance and trust overall. And that way, also again, broader adoption for DeFi. Fantastic. Sounds great. Violet also emphasizes a lot the importance of data privacy and sovereignty as a whole when I go through the text and the website and mm -hmm. almost all the documentation you have out there. Uh, so talk to us or elaborate a little bit all the efforts that go towards this direction. One important thing um, to keep in mind is that so all of the identity information, all personal identifiable information, PII, 
is never stored on chain. All of this is you know securely encrypted and stored off chain. Um, and basically all the you know all the infrastructure that goes into handling um, personal information is um, you know really best in class architecture and has gone undergone multiple security audits, including review Fox. So um, we take data privacy uh, very seriously. Um, and it's you know front and center to everything that we do. So you alluded a little bit already to the security work we did together. So I have to ask you, what's your overall take on security? <laughs> My overall take on security <laughs> is that it's <laughs> you know mission critical, specifically working in 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 in, in DeFi or in, just in anything in finance. I think security is really important. But again, from our perspective, we're enabling infrastructure, right? Clients that integrate with Violet rely on our ability to protect them from any sort of you know hacks when it comes to personal identifiable information, but also some sort of the authentication flow that we facilitate on behalf of our clients. So security is really important to us. And as such, we take it very seriously. So let's talk a little bit about the work we have done together. So why partner with an external auditor like Halbar? I think there are two aspects. One is we're very happy with the engagement model that we have, which is that we're able to um, effectively work with you guys across a range of different um, services, not just you know smart contract, um, audits, but also all the way from penetration testing, you know, getting helpful tips on architecting um, or designing our system. So this is really important to us because our system is holistic and you know really encompasses both the on and off chain world. So that was really important. And then the second aspect, I think, really is the just the industry reputation you folks have. You like to work with the best of the best, given that security is such an important aspect to us. All right, all great answers. So what should our audience expect from Project Violet uh, over the next few months? So I would say I think there are multiple things. Um, one is um, actually more recently we launched um, a second product called MOV, which is a fully compliant and registered DEX. And, and it actually runs on top of Violet's compliance infrastructure. And the really cool thing um, to note about MOV is that it actually has gotten a real regulatory registration, meaning there's regulatory approval an acceptance for using Violet as compliance rails to facilitate compliance, again, in an on-chain financial marketplace like MOF. We're positioning for real assets, so um, there's a bunch of exciting stuff that we have in the pipeline around, you know, upgrading the different assets you find on the platform um, and, and really working closely with asset issuers to facilitate secondary liquidity for them. But also on the Violet side of things, um, there'll be an exciting update around, um, you know, a self-serve Violet ID integration product, including um, a whole bunch of updated documentation. And then, of course, there's a couple of things that I cannot yet talk about. So exciting stuff ahead. Thank you, Philip, once again for joining us on this conversation. We definitely found out a lot more about Valid and hopefully our audience enjoys it as well. Thank you again. Thank you.